NBA playoffs are officially underway, and as many teams invite fans back to the arenas, they're also promoting vaccinations there. The Brooklyn Nets, for example, will have vaccination sites set up across the street from the Barclays Center on game days. Whit Johnson is at the Barclays Center with more on that and how the team is welcoming back fans. Hi, Whit. Diane, good morning. The Brooklyn Nets kick off the playoffs here at Barclays Center tomorrow with more than 10,000 fans expected in the stands. This will be the biggest crowd in this arena since the pandemic began. Fans can also get vaccinated here with a chance to win free playoff tickets. It's another round of incentives and another step closer to normal. I want to put basketball aside for a moment. Sure. What, what does it mean to the team, the people who work here in this community to be able to put thousands of fans back in this arena? You know, I'll tell you from my own perspective, talking to our fans, um, staff, players, everyone, for many of us, the this pandemic really became real when the NBA suspended their season back in March. Um, and that's when we knew, wow, something really big is up. So I think in a similar way, uh, the CDC and the state of New York announcing that we could reopen this building to full capacity and that as long as people were vaccinated, they didn't have to socially distance, they didn't have to wear their masks. I think in many ways, the return of basketball is a signal that we're coming up on the end of this crisis. And as you mentioned, it was back in March. When we were talking, you know, 14, yeah. months ago exactly people who work here have been through a lot since then what about on an emotional level to not only get to the playoffs but to say hey this is a step closer to normal yeah it's a hundred percent a step closer to normal you know and it's we're able to um, we're able to not only bring our fans back but you think of all the workers who are here you know the people who work in the concession stands the ticket takers etc uh, they're so excited to be back at work so yes this is one small step we believe but an important one a symbolic one for new york city getting back in, and up and on its feet. New York is also jumping on the bandwagon with its Vax and Scratch lottery, announcing prizes up to $5 million. And this morning, the White House says that it's partnering up with dating apps to encourage people to get their shots and allowing users to showcase their vaccination status. Diane? All right, with Johnson, thanks for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.